Hello everyone and welcome to my fantastically fun Minecraft series, I hope. Okay, well, let's get to it. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to mod Minecraft with all the cool mods that are out now. Uh, some of the most popular ones, the ones I love, Industrial Craft, Build Craft, Red Power, all the cool ones. There's a bunch of others. I'll have the whole list, direct links to their authors pages and everything for you. But let's install the mods, see, hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers, it works. I've done it before and it worked, but of course, this is now a live video, It'll, I'll probably mess it up, but let's see. Okay, so, first thing is, I don't like where Minecraft automatically goes in the um, roaming app data, whatever folder it automatically goes into. So what I do is, I'm going to show you right here, let's open up C, in C, C drive. I hope you know what C drive is because then you got some other problems, but let's see. <laughs> okay, here's my C drive and I created a folder called Minecraft in my C drive. And this is where I've downloaded the original Minecraft file from Minecraft.net. I purchased the game and this is where I download it here. Okay, now I do have a folder as you can see called vanilla, but I'm not using that right now. I'm going to use a folder because I've created here a bat file and the folder is going to be called modded. 125. So let's create that now. So this is within my Minecraft folder in C. So we're going to call it modded 125. Okay. So there we go. We've got modded 125. Now in, in the um, notepad application, I have created a dot bat file, which set the app data to C Minecraft folder modded 125. So now when I run this Minecraft, this application Minecraft, it will go directly into the modded 125 folder, the whole thing. I'm going to show you that right now. So now I'm going to run it from this bat file. You have to run it from here to, for it to work correctly. So let's click on, oh, I clicked the wrong one. I meant to say Minecraft modded. This is the normal one, which I'm going to set as vanilla, which right now is not I printed that. <laughs> Total fail. I clicked print by accident. What I wanted to do was edit it. So this is going to go to vanilla. I'm just going to change that right now. I don't mean to confuse you, and this may be confusing, but let's set that to vanilla save. Because that will be an original Minecraft uh, with no mods or anything, no texture pack, just plain Minecraft, which I'm going to do survival series on that. But let's go to the Minecraft mod it now. This is a bat file, like I said, I created. If I edit it so you could see set app data C Minecraft modded 125. That's where we want it to go. And then it's checking the Minecraft folder under C that I have the executable of Minecraft downloaded there. Okay, so let's open that one and not print the other. <laughs> okay, total fail there. Okay, so you see I have never opened this yet. I'm just opening it for the first time. So I'm going to log into my Minecraft account. Let's see if I remember the password. That would be nice. Okay, remember password so I don't have to put that in again. Login. Here we go. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of downloading and setting everything up. And you'll see it's going to go into that C folder that I've created called modded125. It's a bit on the slow side. Slow. Mo Let's see the bat file I printed. Oh, great. Just what I needed printed version of that. Okay, here we go. We got Minecraft working perfectly. This is vanilla, plain, old, basic Minecraft we got going. Okay, great. So we see it's working. So let's quit out of there. Okay, so now let's start with the mods. So let's open. I want to open up C, Minecraft. And this is where we have, we just created everything in modded 125. There we go. We see our dot Minecraft folder, which is the heart of Minecraft. Actually, the real heart is this Minecraft jar file. That's the real heart. So up here, I have an original jar file that I copied. This is, you know, an unmodded jar file, just in case something goes wrong. I could go back to without have to, having to download everything, everything again. I could just place that back here and I should be good to go. So let's open my mods installation folder. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Okay, I've got a bunch of things. Now, I have a certain order I do this. Now, I've done this several different ways in different orders, and sometimes it just doesn't work. Now, everybody's computer is different. It might set different block IDs for you. I've done it several times, and it works in this order. So I'm just going to do it in the order that it works for me, and I really hope it works for you. So 
let's open, I right click on, now you need WinRAR, which I can't pronounce that, WinRAR, WinRAR.exe, you need that program. That's, at least that's what I use. People use other ones, but that's the one I use. Now I'm going to open with WinRAR. This is the jar file I've opened, Minecraft jar. Now you can see all these class files and everything. So now first thing we're going to install is mod loader, which the link is below where you can get this directly from the author. So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting every single um, file and I'm going to just drag it over down here so it doesn't go into any one of those folders. I want it to go into the main Minecraft jar. So click OK. So everything's in there now. So that's done. One thing done. OK, now we're going to add Forge. Now this is the version, the latest stable version. As of today, June 6th is 0.114 is really the latest, 3.2.4.114. So let's open that up. Okay, now all it is here is the same thing. Highlight everything, everything. Everything gets highlighted and just drag it right into the jar. Click OK, so it puts it in there, great. Perfect. Now these two are the main items to make your mods work. These are the two main, like the core um, programs or add-ons that you need to make most uh, mods work. So now, first thing here you got to do before you close this out is go to the meta inf and you need to delete it. It's very, very important or it will not work, Minecraft. Okay, so let's close everything out just to make sure it's working and let's start the Minecraft modded bat file again. See, I've got everything saved here. Log in. Let's see. Come on. Yes, good news. And you see here, it says Minecraft Forge is installed. One mod. Okay, great. Here it mentions the mods. See that? So we're good to go. Quickie. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's get back to it. So now we want to go to, or we want to go to mod install again. And what we want to do is get back to... I'm just going to open C again. Let's go to C, Minecraft, modded, dot, and let's go into the jar file again. Minecraft jar, the heart of Minecraft, and open with WinRAR, okay, WinRAR, I can't say it. Okay, so now we put mod loader and forge in that order. The next thing we have to put is code chicken core. Okay, code chicken core will be the next mod. All we do is the same thing. We highlight and we drag it right over. Okay, so let's close that out. And then I'm gonna put in the audio mod, which I'm also gonna just highlight and drag. I mean, how easy is that really? Okay, awesome. So we've got so far mod loader, Minecraft forge, ch code chicken core and audio mod in that order. Okay, now I do want to put not enough items in, so that will be the next thing that I will put in there. Not enough items, highlight everything, drag. Okay, we're done. That's it. This is everything we're going to move into the jar file. So let's close into the Minecraft jar. So let's close everything, open up Minecraft again, make sure everything works. We don't have any errors. Yes. Awesome. Good. We're good. Okay. So let's quit. Now this is the easiest part. Here I've got all the mods that go into the mod folder. I have it separate from the mods that go into the jar. I have like separate folders for that. So let's go into C, the C drive, and let's go into Minecraft, modded, one, two, five, Minecraft, mods. Okay, I've got nothing there. I am just gonna drag everything. This is a ton of stuff. We got reason minimap, because I always get lost. Advanced machines for buildcraft, additional buildcraft objects, um, the whole buildcraft thing, everything, additional pipes for buildcraft, equivalent exchange, forestry, industrial craft too, logistic pipes for buildcraft, uh, compact solars. Then I've got the two plugins for um, not enough items, which is the railcraft and r red power plugin, railcraft, all of red power, sneaky pipes, Steve car Steve's cars, thomcraft and a bunch of add-ons that I don't really remember now for, for Red Power, I think it was, but I don't remember. But anyway, let's just, all the links will be down below so then you could actually go to the author's web pages and actually in the Minecraft forums, most of them are, and you could read about it. Some aren't in the Minecraft forums, but you could read about it there.
every single uh, mod that I'm adding. So now you just highlight everything and drag it. Okay. Now, in most cases, because there's so many block IDs involved here, there could be problems. So let's see what happens. Let's log in and see if we get an error. Oh no. Mojang screen, go away, go away, go away. No, it's stuck. I mean, if it lasts, you know, a couple seconds here on the Mojang screen, you're pretty much stuck. So here we go. We got the error. So we go down, down, down. Slot 249 is already occupied. Blah, blah, blah. Thomcraft. Okay, Thomcraft is giving a little bit of an issue. So I am going to open, just go to edit. I'm going to open the config file. So I'm going to go to C, Minecraft, modded, Minecraft, config. Here's the config folder. Now you don't see it because it's a text. You need to change this to all files in Notepad. And there it is at the bottom, Thomcraft. I'm really excited about that mod. Okay, so basically all of these ID, IDs, block IDs are conflicting. So let's start with number 240. And let's change that to 144. Because I know 144 is not taken right now on my machine. So that's what I'm changing it to. So now I'm going to go to 241. And in, in order, I'm going to go to 145. 242 is going to change to 146, 243 is 147, uh, 244, 148, 245 is 149, 245, 246 is 150, 247 is 151, 248 is 152, is it ever going to end? Uh, 248, 249 is 153, and then 250 is 154. So we got everything, right? Everything has changed, now we have to click File and Save. Make sure you save this, close it out, and let's open Minecraft again. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to cry. Mojang screen go. Mojang screen go. Mojang. Yes! Woohoo! Oh yeah, we did it. Can't believe it worked. First time, except that I printed that one bad file during this video, which is pretty bad. Anyway, okay, so we've done it. So there we go. We've got all the mods installed. Let's make sure. Uh, let's go into singer, sing, bleh. well, I can't talk, I can't talk. Okay, single player, let's just create a new world. Quickly, make sure saving chunks, we don't get stuck anywhere. I've had errors where you get stuck in saving chunks. Come on, generating level. Everything should be good. There we go, look at this beautiful world, I love it. Okay, so let's uh, walk around a bit. There we go. Okay, looks good, looks good. And now let's, you see, here we go. You can, you know pretty much that everything is installed correctly when you see not enough items and all, all this stuff. Look how many pages we got here stuff. There's some, some industrial craft and build craft stuff you see right there, equivalent exchange stuff, forestry stuff. Awesome, awesome. Seems to be working good. We, she, we seem to be good. Cool. This is some new things that I, I really, I can't wait to start with the new Thomcraft and all these mods. Okay, well, join me on my next uh, video, which we're going to start with the modded Minecraft. I've also got a series that I'm going to start of normal Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft, and I have a hardcore series. Hardcore, I, I have to say, I probably won't last more than a few seconds, but it's worth giving it a shot. Join me if you'd like, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you, and hope to see you soon. Take care. Thank you. Bye.